guys, we're back again for the next episode. I believe we're on four now. And, uh, brought up a few, few little things. I'm probably not going to need that much redstone, but, uh, as you can see, I've made an enchanting table and a pick, and I've gotten some more diamonds, more coal. Um, but I don't want to place the enchanting table yet because I want to have a, uh, good source of bookcases, which I've smelted the glass. I'm going to take some of this. Actually, I'll just take a whole stack. Do have plans for it. Um, probably wondering where all my dirt is. It's up here now. So start plugging up. Got more cobble. Um, came in here looking for something. Right, reeds. Sugar cane. And I'm going to need some pistons. I'm going to need... Um, thinking... 32. I don't know why I didn't just do that to begin with. 32 of that. Two stacks of cobble. Stack and a half of wood. Okay. You're probably wondering why I need all these pistons. And, uh, we'll see here shortly. Hopefully I'm not retarded and that is the right number of pistons, but, uh, I should have everything I need now. Just place that like that. And, uh, I've already set up a small area for it already. Dug it out. I haven't placed any of the redstone. I figured you guys want to see that. And I've done some major terraforming out here, if you haven't noticed. I also showed up a, uh, brush line you can call around the house. I think I'm just going to put regular leaves the whole way. Of course, so that sheep thing's probably going to go away. Um, I have plans for the whole where I'm going to put the bookcase, but that's going to take a little bit of time to, well, the whole chanting thing. But uh, terraformed a lot out here. Not so much right here. This was pretty much empty already. D uh, dug back through here. Got a whole bunch of stuff and whatnot prepared. So I can show you guys this. We're going to make an auto harvesting, well not auto, but you know, easy harvest uh, reed farm. And I've pretty much got everything ready. I'm just going to place the redstone in here. I keep on screwing that up. I'm just going to fill it up there. That was, I didn't, I didn't actually know I could place that like that. But, uh, these are where the Peters come in handy. Make sure I can get the signal to the whole way. Whoops. Okay. Now, you're probably already wondering what the hell I'm doing. And I'm going to place this wire. So this one's going to go the whole way over here. Right up on there. But I wonder when that torch is there, too. Okay. Now, if I can get out of here. I've got this set up weird. Um, here's where the pistons go. This block right here, that's the one that the redstone is on. Uh, I have it on it because that's the only way to really reliably trigger it without a bunch of... Uh, um, I'll fix that in a second. Without a bunch of repeaters. If you run the redstone on the block, if you have a block behind the piston and you run the red, redstone on it, that's the most reliable way to trigger a row of pistons like that. You could, you know, set them in place a whole bunch of uh, repeaters right behind them going into them with the redstone behind that, but that's more redstone than it should really take. I'm just going to place this here. Oh, I forgot to bring a sign. Do something stupid, I'm going to waste some wood. Of course, so I didn't bring another bucket of water, but uh, that's beside the point. Now you're probably wondering what I want the sign for that sign right there and uh, I'll get to that in just a minute after I hook up the rest of the redstone this is pretty much the same thing um, slightly different path I want to make sure that these two triggered at the same time just because I have to have things synchronous otherwise it irritates me especially piston doors if they're not properly synchronized it just irritates the hell out of me now, this one's not going to go the whole way back, because you only need one thing triggering that. 
This should be the back wall, and the last piston should be right there. If not, we wasted one piece of redstone. Nothing too life-threatening. I'm going to place the sugar cane. Now, I'm not going to place any of the glass, because I want to make sure this all triggers properly before I do that. Which, I'm going to need this here. Actually, I was going to use a different color. I had a different intended start for this episode, too, but, uh, kind of changed my mind on that. Now, hopefully, I can place these things without accidentally screwing up the redstone. Okay, it looks like I... Oop. That's... not good. I can't cover up that chunk of redstone there. Hmm. It's okay. I have an alternate plan. I, I didn't bring any redstone with me whenever I was originally digging this out. I was just uh, pretty much thinking the whole thing out in my head, how I was going to place everything. And then... Uh, yeah, so not everything was, was perfect. But uh, these other pistons back on here go in here, place them in their respective locations, or screw up and place some of them in the wrong location. But, uh. Ooh. Okay. Now that should be it for the pistons. I should probably place the. Uh... Oh. I should go get another bucket of water so I can. Show, so I can show you why I brought that. Oh, whoops! One second. No, oh, well, not one second. I'll fix that later. Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong here. Now I'm gonna place a piece of glass. There's going to be glass there. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, water travels eight blocks. So it normally would have went down there. The sign is to stop it. Now, I don't know why I always do this backwards like this. I should just have it set up so that way it, they fall out of the top and hit the other water stream. Yeah. Always doing this backwards. Geronimo. And yeah, I was a little late for that Geronimo, I'm sorry. Now, it's this here. Torch goes there. Have to have the torches. Need to have the light source in there. But, uh, I suppose I can just place the sign from down here. And go. There. Now it'll stop the water there. Um, and I appear to have left a big gaping hole in the ground. There we go. If you're wondering what I'm doing, making things similar. Now. Oh, I can't plant the reeds up here just yet. Okay, now, remember where I placed that uh, redstone torch in the back? It's directly below this block, so it's turning this one off. Now, I'm going to go through here. These ones are both going to trigger at the same time, because they're going to be triggered by the uh, the block that's going to be coming up. the That redstone torch. And they won't need a repeater, because it should reach the whole way over here, no problem. So... Out here. See now, when the power comes up, the power should uh, when that torch flickers on. It should power this block, which will send a signal through there, and likewise, it will send it through here. These torches are where they are on here because I was using them as markers before, and now uh, 
all of these pistons should trigger at once from that one button down there. I was going to take that out, but I uh, should actually do that. And that's not how I meant to jump down here, or get down here, but uh, down here now. Now when I press this button, I should be able to see both those top rows trigger, and both these rows trigger. There we go. That, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, now all of the, fill all this in, I should be able to collect everything once it gets dumped out there, and I'll have to go up top, well I'll need to get some water to put up there first. not going to be the greatest looking thing, but I can always fix the front of that later to make it look better. I left an infinite water supply here. I'm not quite done with the front. plan to fill that all in, um, but uh, it's one of the plans I haven't gotten around to. I will get to it, just haven't quite gotten there. It's a plan for another episode. Or maybe I could just uh, give you the idea, but uh, I'm not going to. This block here. Cause you see now the water is floating on top of that sign, but it can't go past it. If I didn't have that sign there, the water would flow down below and just screw it in. Now the whole point of this is whenever they grow up, like literally, and literally they uh, you know they'll go up and this will push off the second row which will also cause any the top row to fall off but it will leave the bottom row so they'll be able to keep uh, growing and I won't have to come in here and replant and uh, pretty much pretty much just trapped myself oh breaking glass it's very painful but uh, oh well but anyhow, now what will happen is uh, I press that one button, all the tops will get knocked off, and a majority of them will land in the water stream. Sometimes they do get stuck on the dirt, so it's not 100% yield all the time, but it's press a button and you get everything in a short amount of time. And I can also expand this infinitely upwards, basically, so anyhow. Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, the auto reed harvesting farm. So, for example, since one grew here, press the button, push it off, goes in the water stream, comes down here where I can nice and neatly collect it. And, uh, that's how I'm gonna get all the pages, all the reeds to make the books, to make the bookshelves. Ooh, Enderman, holy crap, there's three Endermen. I'm just gonna skirt around them and not look at them. I heard you walking. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with those creepers. I should just deal with them now so I don't worry about them later. I expanded the, uh, the shrub. Oh, you bastard. Damn creepers. Really? Dare blow up. One of you already screwed up my lawn. Uh, at least I've got enough dirt to fix that. Of 
Really? Ripping up my grass blocks? Really, Enderman? <sighs> Such griefers. Now, I've had something planned for a few episodes, but it took me time to get everything to do it. Now, I said the floor needed something, and I've had this planned pretty much since, uh, since the wool was this far. These torches aren't here just for light. They're also here as markers. You guys will really be able to determine what it is I'm making if you haven't already guessed it. And if you haven't guessed it already, you're going to be able to guess it soon. Yep. You can probably already tell. And place these torches back here for the light. We now have a lime green creeper face in the uh, middle of our floor. I know creeper faces are ever used, but uh, creepers are cool. And there's not really any other faces in this game that I can make out of green, lime green, that'll actually uh, look good. So, that's that. Not really collecting too much on the mob drops, but, uh... Oh, I think my string's in my other box. Yep. Now, I know that if I make bookshelves and tear them down, what's gonna happen is, uh... I'm gonna get the books back and I need the wood, which isn't really a big deal. Let me shut this guy up real quick. <laughs> Okay, I was just going to end the episode, but uh, we have some friends I want to get rid of. And the easiest way to guarantee that they won't, you know, manage to kill me is to make armor, so. And if you uh, are looking and seeing that I'm not getting any graphic on me. It's because in my texture pack that I have made here, um, I have the armor set to invisible because I don't really like how they look. So, we're going to go out here and we're going to kill these endermen. Come on. Where'd you go? Stop teleporting into my wheat farm. Oh, Ender Pearl. I'm wondering if this guy up here on the hill. Ooh. Ender Pearl. Ooh, piece of candy. I know I've gotten hideously sidetracked here. So many endermen here. Wow, I'm getting a really good drop rate on those. That I just couldn't ignore them. So I'm not ignoring them. For anyone that may be wondering after four episodes what difficulty I'm on, it's obviously not hard. I'm sure you figured that out by now. It's uh normal. Oh creepers. I don't know what's worse, the endermen or the creepers. Thank you, Mr. Creeper. I was eventually going to eliminate that piece of land. Just burned to death. Thank you. I wonder if you gave me enough dirt to fix the hole caused by the other Creeper. I know I'm hideously sidetracked at this point, but, uh, I need to figure this out. 
Of course there's another creeper sitting over here waiting for me. Uh, should have just backed away? Should have just let him stop exploding. I tell you what. I'm going to get the borders, as I'm going to call them, filled in on this. So I'm going to basically fill in all this dirt. Just hell with it. All the dirt I have on me, I'm going to place it. And then, uh... Stupid sheep. I heard them, and I thought it was a creeper sneaking up on me. We're going to go in here. And uh, I will one day put a roof on this. But uh, I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Goodbye.